Hey folks, this is going to be a quick video about all four reactions that were used in the evidence of chemical reactions lab for my class. Let's take a look what we have here. We've got sulfuric acid and sodium hydroxide. I've poured a few of those things already into those two containers. And if we check out the mass of those, you'll notice that the mass ends up being 56.64. When I remove those two, and pour the two of them together, nothing really remarkable happens. However, if we measure the temperature, the temperature ends up being 106.1 degrees Celsius. The final mass of the sulfuric acid and the sodium hydroxide together ends up being 56.61. All right, for reaction number two, we have copper nitrate, and we again are using sodium hydroxide. So let's go ahead and weigh those before we start. And the weight of those two together in grams is 56.76 grams. Pulling those off and combining the two. You'll notice that there's a solid blue-like gel on the inside. I'm going to put that back onto the balance. And we have 56.77 grams. Pulling those two off, next reaction. Potassium iodide and iron 3 nitrate. Poured some of each of those into those containers together. Combined mass of those two is 49.24 grams. Taking a look, I'm going to pour the iron nitrate and we get that really dark, rich red color. There does not appear to be any solid in the bottom of that though. And we now have a mass of 49.25 grams. Last but not least, we have vinegar, which is the hydrogen acetate. We have baking soda, which is sodium bicarbonate. And we end up having these two containers. We put these two containers on top of the balance and we end up having a mass of 50.77 grams. Pulling those two off, I'm gonna put the vinegar into the baking soda. Oh no, it's gone over. Hopefully the mass you will notice will actually probably be too low. So we've got baking soda and vinegar. There's the vinegar, there it's poured out. By the way, we called that hydrogen acetate as well. Uh, the sodium bicarbonate is also called baking soda. So if you're wondering where those came from, uh, there's a little bit of water in the bottom of that tube, so that's why it's a little bit wet. Let's go ahead and even dry that bottom portion off. There we go. So let's go ahead and mass those two together. The mass of those two together, 47.88 grams. Pulling that off. And let's go ahead and pour the vinegar carefully into the tube. And then hopefully it will not overflow. Yay. All right. So we'll wait for the bubbling to completely stop. That's good enough. And let's go ahead and weigh those two together again. And this time the mass happens to be 47.75.